Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermodon. I'm going to be doing a commentary about Battlefield 3 in the video. Obviously, you guys are going to be watching that today, and overall, I'm going to be playing on Operation Metro with the 100% ticket count. I really do like playing on higher ticket count when it comes to Metro, but unfortunately, I didn't feel like it. I wanted to get you guys a crossbow gameplay. I'd been striving so hard to get this, and I don't know why it was so difficult. And a lot of the reasoning is because of one huge factor that is really annoying, and I really wish I could fix it, but I'm waiting on a lot of stuff to be fixed, as I've told you guys in the last two videos. Of course, if you haven't seen those, you're always more than welcome to go back and watch them. They're usually revolving around something that's going to be occurring here soon, or is on the horizon of the commentary. But anyway, guys, the reason that this gameplay is not going to be the best in the entire world, it's pretty short. I cut it down a sufficient amount, because I didn't want you guys to sit there for 14 minutes, or however long it was. It was pretty long, and... It was really boring. The other team was sniping, so I guess that's all I need to say. Uh, they really weren't too aggressive, and I don't think they really took the initiative. They really could have stomped my team over. I think it was just me and AJ. Unfortunately, AJ got knifed three times during the gameplay. I'm surprised I didn't get knifed because this asshole was following us around for like the last two games trying to get my dog tags. And I guess that's all I got to say. You know, when people want to get your dog tags, they do whatever they can. But AJ got knifed instead of me, and I guess I'm okay with that, so... When it comes down to it, I do apologize, AJ, but I tried to save you one time in the bathroom. You guys will see that, I think, in the gameplay. I think I shoot him, and I don't know how he didn't survive. And throughout the gameplay, there must have been some crazy lag, or maybe the crossbow is just not formatted right, because my crosshairs would be on people, and I would shoot, and I would just miss, and I don't understand. You guys will see, I wasn't suppressed throughout most of them, but... You know, let me know. Maybe I did miss. Maybe I'm not taking a good enough look at it. Maybe they moved um, to the nearest percentage and got away from the bolt. I don't know. But what I do know is that um, it looked like my crosshairs were right on them. I did the appropriate drop uh, form formula and all that kind of stuff. So I understand gravity. I understand how the game works, obviously. I've played it way too damn much. But when it comes down to it, guys, I'm going to be talking about the crossbow throughout the commentary. I'll give you guys my general opinion about it. I'll give you guys a little bit of background information about hopefully the bolts and stuff like that. Again, I don't know all the statistical facts on them, but when it comes down to it, I can give you a main just of it. And hopefully I can make the experience a lot more enjoyable for you as well as me. And we can both be informed slightly more than we already are about the crossbow. So as a lot of you guys know, if you are a Battlefield veteran or just a Battlefield player in general, maybe you've picked it up from watching my videos, maybe... You understand what's going on you know it's not too difficult but you'd be surprised there are people that have a very very hard time figuring out what's going on on screen which is perfectly fine no problems there but when it comes down to it guys the crossbow is a really cool thing I don't like using the scope on it I think that's pretty stupid my opinion of course but I guess I don't like the scope because the one they put on there is kind of garbage I don't know why you'd want that high of a magnification that's a little overkill Unless you're going to be sniping people across the map with it, I don't see a reason for it. So I always use the standard default crossbow. I think it's the Cobra sight. I don't use that. I like the red dot better. I know a lot of people are like, Cobra versus red dot. Well, in reality, I like the red dot for the precision, but I would love the Cobra for the small amount of uh, decreased visual effects. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, you have more vision, more or less. And I wish that was the way. I wish I could format my own kind of scope. I wish there was one that was at least comfortable. I really hate the iron sights or the sights on the Cobra. I think they're absolutely stupid, and that's my opinion, of course. Granted, I've never used it on PC. I hear PC, it's a lot easier to control recoil. I've done it myself, but again, I play on console, so I don't have that luxury, and I definitely don't have the ability to want to play it anytime soon because I don't want to jump in and get my ass absolutely pulverized by you PC elitist but anyway guys when it comes down to it the crossbow is a cool installment I know a lot of people are very skeptical on it they would want to place their input and some people like it some people hate it uh, some people say it's like Call of Duty somehow I don't know how you get that reference the crossbow looks absolutely nothing like the Call of Duty one but you know there are people out there that want to draw conclusions they want to say that dice somehow stole it from Call of Duty I I, I don't know guys I'm going to put it at that. I'll let you guys laugh if you are doing so. But when it comes down to it, I don't think Battlefield and Call of Duty have anything really in common. Battlefield's just a little bit more... I don't know. I don't, don't want to say it's a little bit more balanced because there has been problems. But it's a little bit more realistic. I know everyone's going to be like, it's still a video game. Of course, you are correct. It is a video game, obviously. But when it comes down to it, guys, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great game. And I'm going to continue playing it for as long as it takes. I don't care if I'm max level or not. 
I just enjoy playing this instead of Call of Duty for a large majority of my time. So the crossbow, you have different bolts, and each bolt is pretty efficient or effective towards whatever you want. You have the standard bolt, which is good for close combat, sucks at long range. You can still get one-shot kills, of course, but when it comes down to it, it's a little bit more close range. That's why I was using it in Metro. Uh, you also have the uh, scan bolt, which is kind of like a tugs or a mav. You shoot it, it shows the positions of any unit on the map for a selected time period. You have the explosive bolt, which can blow up helicopters, little birds, Z11s, and one hit. Um, I'm not sure what the damage is on tanks. I don't think I've ever been shot by a crossbow in a tank, so I couldn't tell you what the damage is per bolt. But I do realize if you have reactive, that does count as a um, shot against a tank. So basically you have like, what is it, three plates on a tank. If you're using the uh, tank destroyers, I think you have four. But anyway, just some good knowledge for you. And then you have the long range bolt, which I know very little about. I know it's really good, obviously, for long range. I think it has very little drop, stuff like that. I don't know the effective range on it in close range. I've used it a few times. I've gotten a lot of hit markers with it. I haven't really enjoyed it. And half the time, I always forget to change my bolts anyway. So when it comes down to it, guys, I guess that's the main gist of it. I do like the crossbow. I think it's really cool. And I imagine that I'll be giving you guys some more gameplay here soon. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned. But as always... Unfortunately, the commentary has to come to a close. I'll see you guys in the next video, and this is NMO, signing off. Peace.